We have an alligator lives there. He's eating something. What does he have? Whatever it is, it's big. It looks like it's bulging his throat out. Mind you, we're in the middle of November and uh, the lizards are still out. This will become more and more the case as climate change takes its toll. already killed about two billion trees here in the Sierra Nevadas. And at some point, it's going to even affect little animals like this alligator lizard. It will affect the big animals first. My father used to call these snake lizards, lizards because they have tiny little arms and legs. And you can see he has the, uh, he's kind of in a snake-like position. Now that he has swallowed his meal, he probably would like me to leave. If you're not gentle with these guys, they will bite the crap out of you. And even if you are gentle, sometimes they'll still bite the crap out of you. Well, I'm going to try to sneak up on him and catch him, but I don't think it's going to happen. He's looking right at me. He knows exactly where I am. And he's going to hightail it up the hill as soon as I get within a couple feet of him. Sure is a beautiful lizard though, isn't he? Oh, besides just biting the crap out of you, they also have this disturbing habit of pooping when you touch them, which, so you get it from both ends, basically. They bite you and they poop on you. What do you know? I did catch him. I did catch the alligator lizard. It's cold today, that's why. He's freezing. And yet he's still out hunting. Well, he feels freezing. It's not that hot. Well, it's not that cold, I should say. Um, look, see how he flicks his uh, tongue like a, li uh, like a snake? That's another reason they sometimes are called snake lizards. Um, properly speaking, this is an alligator lizard. Um, also known because of their bite, very strong bite, and also the pattern on their back, which kind of looks like the armor you find on an alligator. And also the little legs look a bit like an alligator's legs. So, amazing animals. He's just doing his business and uh, I very gently picked him up. And so, as long as I'm gentle with him, he probably isn't going to nail me or poop on me. It probably feels good to sit in my warm hand. It's kind of chilly out here for a lizard. 
when I'm done with him, show you his tail too. See, you can see that where he lost his tail at one point, and then uh, it regrew. See, it's a different color when it grows uh, when it grows back in like that, and it has a slightly different structure from the original structure, which uh, I believe I saw something about that on it on uh, Science Daily. Um, I'll have to look it up again. But um, this is the first alligator lizard I've been able to get my hands on all year. And it's only because it's kind of on the cold side, man. And see, he's, he doesn't seem to care that I'm holding him. Many lizard species have the ability to just detach their tails. And then the tail wiggles and the predator goes after the tail and then they can run away. And that's why they have that ability. And then the tail will go back. Um, some lizards uh, can do it at will. They can just drop their tail. And others, they, if you like pull on the tail, it just attaches. Um, some of the skinks around here, when they first hatch out, they have a bright blue tail. And, that, and they can detach it at will. I was only ever able to catch one of those baby skinks without its tail coming off because even if you touch them by the body, they will drop their tails. And then the, the bright blue tail wiggles, it attracts the predator, the predator eats the tail, the lizard gets away and has, has another chance at things. Now, at some point, this uh, lizard has felt, uh, almost got eaten because his tail is now, uh, has, it's missing and it's now regrown. Um, I don't think the camera is going to let me show you that. It's been kind of... Uh, there we go. I don't know how clear that's going to be because it wants to focus on other things besides the lizard. Uh, I'm having to hold this at arm's length. So, anyway, fascinating animal. Let's take a quick look at his belly. Whoops. See? And just slide along the ground very smooth. Okay, I think we're done.